did not want to wait this long of the day to go on my run because I know it's freaking hot out. Like it was already hot at seven in the morning, but now it's probably, now it's 1 p.m. Probably the hottest time of the day because the sun's literally right above me, but I need to get my easy run done. So I'm just gonna tough it out, brave it out. I just ate lunch like 30 or so minutes ago. It was like a big plate. It was a pretty hefty plate of curry over rice. And it was so good. So I'm hoping that that will um, give me some energy in the run. Hopefully I'm digested enough. I'm pretty full. <laughs> Gymshark sports bra and then these shorts from Solomon, which I'm wearing because they're slightly lower rise so I can get a little bit more of a tan on my belly. If I wore any of my other shorts, they would be up to here. I'm trying to minimize the tan line where I can. Okay. Run, upper body. I'm gonna tell this to the camera now so you guys can hold me accountable, but I'm gonna run. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hit some upper body at home. I can just use my dumbbells downstairs. If it's not too, too hot and I wanna go out to the backyard, I can do that. That sounds nice too, but it is like literally 90 degrees in San Francisco. That's crazy. is done ah. i had four and a half miles to do ended up doing five but i was feeling really good i wasn't absolutely dying from the heat i did have water with me which was nice but yeah the vibes are good i ran right along the beach so it was a little bit of a ocean breeze going on i didn't have my headphones so i just blasted music from my phone and it was honestly a very uh, freeing experience and i hope everyone who i passed by today enjoyed my fun music i was listening to a lot of throwbacks like some one direction ow, 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 ow. I'm gonna work out here. Bench set up. All right, let's get a quick lift in. do like super heavy lifting and so I'm doing a lot of isometric moves so while one side is holding up the weight the other side is doing the actual reps I did that for double bench press and now I'm doing it for a like seated shoulder press that way I don't have to go too heavy in weight but everything is still working the hold up top it may not seem like much but it does add up and it takes some core stabilization while the other side is ripping it out so if there's ever a day where you don't necessarily feel like going super heavy try to sprinkle in some isometrics or just or just go for lower weight and high reps I know it probably looks so silly but the weighted punches across my body just holding little five pound dumbbells just to get a little pump, sculpt the arms a bit. I swear people who box have the nicest arms. So I just threw those in and if you have music going and you go to the beat of the music, it's quite fun. So I really love an eccentric exercise. So you're really focusing on the way down. I'm on an incline right now, but I just did neutral grip, dumbbell presses. So my palms are facing each other rather than like this. And I'm slowly bringing it down for three seconds and driving up. So sort of switching up the pace of your rep instead of just going one and one, I go one, two, three, one. And that's just a good way to switch up your exercises too. You could do the same for push-ups. I don't really do push-ups as often as I should be. One, two, three, push. Oh, oh my crooked. One, two, three. I should really be doing push. I should really be doing my push. Oh, oh push. Ow. 
Wait, something, something in my arm hurts. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm done with my workout. I'm actually done with my workout now. Yep, that'll do it. Oh my god, it's time for a freaking restock. I'm a sucker for a hot bevy, whether it's hot outside or not. So this is honestly perfect. You guys know I love my Element. I have it literally after all my runs, and they are my favorite electrolyte brand. Got my little stashy here. These are more of the fruity flavors that I'll go for during a run, after a run, that kind of vibe, you know? Come in these perfect little individual packets. Each one has 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium. Perfect ratios of all the good stuff that you need to replenish after a tough workout. They are the official hydration partner of USA Weightlifting. Pro and elite level athletes use it. You girl uses it. If that cup's right. Just add it to a glass of water and it makes for the perfectly salty, sweet drink. Now ice water with the fruity flavor, that is my go-to concoction after workout. But Element has electrolytes that can be served hot. Maybe you're a little skeptical about it, but think of it like a salted chocolate drink. I'm going for the chocolate salt tonight, but I really also have been enjoying the chocolate caramel glass. And I like to do just a splash of cold slash room temp water just so it's not too scorching hot now i can drink it right away it's a treat but i'm also doing good for myself because i'm replenishing from today's workout but i'm also preparing myself for tomorrow mm. it's really just like a salted hot cocoa I love it. By using my link, drinkelement.com slash San Francisco, you actually get a free sample pack. So this is what the sample pack looks like. I'll just open it up so that you guys can see. You get eight of the packets, all in different flavors. And good news, the chocolate is in there so you can try the hot drink for yourself. Any order that you make through drinklmnt.com slash San Francisco, you get all these. That way you can find your perfect flavors. Share these with a salty friend. Here's my little nightcap. Thank you to Element for partnering with me on this video. I'm gonna add some of my hot flavors into my little stash here. don't buy sweeter coffee creamers or anything similar to this. I've never tried a cold foam creamer that comes in a squeezy can. Ooh, oh my gosh, wait, that just looks so fun. I don't know what got into me in the grocery store, but I was like, I just feel like trying something new. Serve it up hot or cold. I do have a fresh cup of coffee here. I think I might transfer it. <laughs> this is extra. A warm coffee can go in here, right? cold foam creamer bottle says pro tip use a clear glass okay i just spilled all over the floor <sighs> always gotta make my life more difficult shall we try wait this is so fun okay you're supposed to watch it cascade <gasps> why is that so good oh that's delicious it's from delight Picked up some fruits because we needed a restock. Also got some yogurt because I just like parfaits, but I've also been wanting to try cottage cheese. I've seen all the rage, or rave, rage, all the hype. It has literally 12 grams of protein per serving. I think a lot of people don't like the texture typically, but we'll try it. I'm gonna try it this morning for breakfast. I got avocados, tomatoes, sourdough bread, mostly all stuff for breakfast. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, oh, that's very curdy. I don't even know. What is this gonna taste like? I don't think I've ever had cottage cheese. I'm scared. Mmm. Just tastes like mild string cheese. I'm gonna try out this sweet and salty combo.
so excited to try something new for breakfast. I always eat the same thing, either my oatmeal or my protein pancakes. So this is exciting, very exciting. I also made two eggs just cause Mmm. Now, I don't even know if this is the right chili oil sauce that I should have used for this. I had some microgreens, garnished it with that. That will be another time. I forgot about that when I was in the store, but... Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I'm so excited for all the possibilities I have now with my big old tub of cottage cheese. So late to the game. Why am I so late to the game? All right, it is a few hours later. Sorry, I'm blasting my AC because it's so freaking hot. It's so hot in San Francisco, but I'm driving to San Jose where it's probably, I don't think I mentioned today, it's Saturday. And in San Jose, there is a bodybuilding competition, which my friend Tiffany, who is also my teammate, we play volleyball together, she's competing. I think there will be quite a few of us going out to support her. Yeah, she's been prepping all summer and I'm just really excited to see. I'm really excited for her. I know she's been super, discipline and we're also all going to dinner tonight so that'll be amazing for her so she can finally grub down i've never seen a bodybuilding competition in real life i've seen tons of vlogs because i've you know followed people on youtube and stuff but it'll be very interesting to see how everyone looks like in the flesh ready to see some very very muscular people <laughs> very tan muscular people all right let me just finish my crackers mm. I bought my ticket, I park, find my friends, and check out the show. Sunday. I am so, so tired because I drove home right after dinner and so exhausted. I ended up falling asleep on the couch and woke up at 2 a.m. Super frazzled, didn't know where I was. I was like, oh crap, I meant to shower and get into bed and everything. Literally did my entire night routine at two in the morning, full on skincare too. The serums, the nighttime moisturizers, like the whole shebang. And I mean, my skin feels really good right now, so. That's nice. But yeah, I just feel really tired because it was interrupted sleep that I had last night. Anyway, I'm excited because I get to make a coffee. I'm gonna do an iced coffee, which I don't typically do. I'm usually always a hot coffee girl, even if it's super hot out, but with the new foam I got yesterday, I really wanna try it iced. Oh, oh, ice cube down. Perfect. That looks so freaking good. Are you kidding me? Truly amazing. I am so impressed. The reason I don't like iced coffee in the morning is just because I'm not good with savoring my drinks. I could chug this so easily, especially with a straw. It would be gone in two seconds. At least with the hot coffee, I'm like forced to slow down and drink it because it's just too hot to chug. And with my hot coffee, usually I'll always drink about half of it and then I'll leave the other half and it'll just sit and get warm and basically cold. I actually take too long to drink it. But this, this I, yeah. I'm gonna try and make this last a little bit throughout my morning. Would you believe me when I say I'm gearing up for my Sunday long run and it is freaking 24 p.m. p.m. Oh, guys, I was really debating with myself. Should I even do it today? My boyfriend and I were helping with a bit of a move-in process. So that was like majority of the day and it was, you know, manual labor. And so I am feeling a little tired, but I feel like I cannot skip my long run this week just because we're literally, I mean, we're coming up on three weeks out. I don't even know. Oh, I have to do my long run, especially since I skipped my progressive hill run yesterday. I'm already behind on my miles for the week. Next week, I'm supposed to have my longest run of training, which is really scary to me. Um, it's actually crazy. I am just gonna get out there. I made sure to pack a lot of cold water and I've got all my gels and fuel and all that. It's gonna be uncomfortable. I'm already sweating, but I just can't let myself skip this one. I can't. I feel like I've been showing a lot of shoes, especially running shoes in my vlogs lately, but sorry guys. 
These are a brand new pair of a shoe that I have repurchased multiple times. This is my third pair of these Saucony Endorphin Shift 3s. I don't even know if they make them anymore. I literally bought these off of Amazon. Obviously the all whites I love and then I just love how cushiony they are. I did run my very first marathon in these. That pair I've completely run to the ground. Like when I wear them now, my knees hurt in them. So I've retired those. I have a second pair of these, which I keep downstairs by the treadmill. And so anytime I do a treadmill run pretty much, I use those and those are like my nice clean indoor pair and the ones that I have on my feet now are just replacing those other ones that I retired. So I'm gonna wear them outdoors today. I don't remember them feeling uncomfortable at all or like needing any sort of breaking in. So they should feel good today. Who knows, I might end up wearing these in New York. We'll see. But yeah, these are just my tried and true. Love you, Saucony. miles right there honestly I can't really be mad at that my plan did have me at a shorter long run this week just to deload a little bit before my longest long run next weekend but I did want to make up for some lost miles that I skipped yesterday so ideally I wanted 13 to 15 today but I literally spent the first probably five or six miles mad angry just just being grouchy and not having fun with my run. That honestly takes so much more effort and mind power. Like it's actually draining when you're in that sort of mindset. If you ever notice that you're in that, you gotta snap out of it. <laughs> I mean, it was running with Krista for pretty much all of that. And then I finished out here on the beach. Um, I wanted to get to 10, so yeah. Um, he tried to lighten the mood and do funny stuff, which when you're in that like angry mindset, sometimes it's some things just don't hit. But eventually I lined up and we picked things up. I was just disappointed with myself for skipping my run yesterday and literally pushing my run to the very end of today, Sunday, because I would have much rather just enjoyed my Sunday like everyone else out here is doing. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I was having fun too. I just didn't want to believe it. My goodness gracious, that was, that was not, I'm so happy to be done with that. I'm so happy that I just got it done. Even if I didn't do the 13, 15 that I wanted, it's fine. 10 is really good and something to be very proud of because it was hot. There was also a literal music festival happening in the park. And so there were just tons of people and it's tough when you're out doing a training run or whatever, especially a long run. And you see people doing much more relaxing things like strolling through the park. But I'm grateful that my body's even capable of doing a long run on a Sunday. It's not ideal, but I just have to remind myself that it is privileged to move my body and yeah. Anywho, I feel depleted. <laughs> I'm gonna make a protein shake first and then Crystal and I, we're gonna have dinner. She'll be cooking up something. I think I just need to bring over some vegetables, but wash my hands by the way, of course. I'm literally gonna use a core power shake as my, oh. I'm gonna do another scoop of protein. <laughs> this Kirkland brand one is actually so fire. We got a big, big bag of it. Literally 70 servings in here. 25 grams of protein each. I mean, that's kind of it. That's kind of it. Mm. Just like an extra loaded core power shake. Cause I love to drink those bottles on its own, but another scoop of protein. Not gonna hurt. We're gonna do a nice, healthy fish dinner tonight. Fish, rice, a salad. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm not. Oh my God, why has my head been hurting? all morning last night actually this morning like first thing in the morning i got the fattest cramp in my calf oh my gosh the worst feeling ever cramping in your calf in your sleep or like when you're half asleep oh. 
I've been editing all morning, but I'm gonna just put on my Norma Tech Goes to get a little air compression therapy going. Why not? Actually, I might need to charge these, so they might die halfway. <laughs> I have been trying so dang hard to clean up. Cleaning up here and there, tossing a lot of boxes. Oh my gosh, you should see the collection of boxes that I have in the hallway. Oh my God, are you serious? <sighs> I need to break those all down and put them into the recycling bin, but I did just get a package from Amazon. One of the things is like an organization <laughs> solution. I literally ordered this stuff yesterday and it's here. We love that. I did get some, I did get some beauty things because they were on sale for Prime Day. So I got the collagen masks that everyone has been using. You sleep with it on overnight, which I love because I love to fall asleep in face masks. But these ones are actually made for that. We'll give those a try. I got another Laneige lip sleeping mask because I have one here, but I feel like I just need a spare to keep in my other bags or I don't know. I just love this. Here is the organization cable tidy unit. Basically you put your extension cord power outlet thing into here. You're supposed to keep all the wires tidy. Here's what we're working with here. This area is always a mess because this is where I pretty much charge all my electronics. My phone, my iPad, all my camera chargers, whatever like my shocks there's literally always so many wires so i would love to just have this be an organized station even if it gets a little messy inside of the box it'll at least look put together from the outside that will not fit underneath my bed but i think that's fine i've been trying to tackle smaller areas of my room in hopes to just have it be a more organized space to live in <laughs> I don't know how that's going. Very dusty here, so I'm gonna just vacuum all of that up. This is my super fast charger. It's for my iPhone, and then I also leave my Garmin charger here. So that is always plugged in. This double charger here, these are part of my recovery boots or my recovery sleeves. And it's nice because it actually comes with two of these chargers. So I can use these for almost all my devices. I have cameras that I can charge. I can charge my iPad with this. Basically anything that takes the USB-C, I believe. So this is actually a really good one to keep plugged in. This is another USB-C. Don't know what, another USB-C. Oh my God. Do I need to have all these? Okay, this one is, not USB-C, this is whatever this one is, but sometimes I need that. This is my camera charger. I'm always needing to charge my batteries, so I usually keep that plugged in. This extension cord, which I got from Amazon, I love because it has these plugs, but then it also has these USB plugs, so I don't need an actual block. I usually keep my Shox headphone wire there. These headphones have a specific charging wire which is kind of annoying but love you shock camera charger is plugged in and then this wire i always keep plugged in as well because that is for this little sunset lamp which i keep by my bed and i use at night time that is so much better this is the large size that they have on amazon this is a slightly longer extension cord so i did have to get the large at least it's white and cohesive <laughs>